the same here. Yeah. Until now, I come on this side. Mm -hmm. I'm still wet. Jab here, boom, the same. Boom, boom, the same. I still wet. Yeah. Hook coming here, boom, the same. Boom, boom, the same. Hit me here, boom, the same. Boom, boom, boom. If you have subscribed to me, make sure to subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy will learn this free basic technique how to beat up the bully. You've got a nightmare. See the bell here? Make sure to hit it so hard that your enemy won't be able to beat you up again. So now, get your ass back to training. Huh? On the technique here that you've been practicing, on get used to learn to understand about, you know, a free basic movement, how to deal with bully. Now all the time have to get used to blocking first and attacking. So while you're doing the movement and attacking, then you gotta come in with an elbow. So to using this kind of movement here, okay, this is quite important to understand. To using this movement here, you need to get used to positioning and then you follow in with the elbow, like this kind of movement here. Now when you follow the attack here, you're attacking a lot of time you can punch in high, like attacking directly. You have to remember anything and everything you've been attacking. This hand, okay, this hand is attacking you like this on cross this way. Okay, this is important to understand. When you get into that basic movement here, you got to get used to defend like this or like this. Okay, so while you're attacking, you defend, then you can be able to do all the different movement on it. So not just about you attacking and forget about everything else. You are attacking, but you also need to monitor everything around you to defend it. Okay, so this is important. Here is a lesson for you to practice and get your ass back to training. Ah! Here, sometimes when you practice, it's one basic movement you need to practice, learn, get news of the line. Okay, like this. So blocking the first one learn to block and hit straight away one two three and then elbow okay that basic movement of that now why this kind of movement here is very useful is because when you practice you just flow in and this hand flow in like this okay and then flow 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 in like this that basic movement of that and then second thing you need to learn to understand when i'm here i'm flow and hook that's the second thing you need to learn learn about blocking okay Okay, on this movement here, to dealing with this technique here, okay, for free basic movement to uh, defending yourself from the bully, you need to understand that this few thing. First thing you need to understand is distance, distance from you to your opponent, the distance, okay? So you don't want to get close to them. To use that, you're using the strongest weapon. The stronger weapon to move out of the way, you see it do a lot of that way, you can get and use an idea. Attacking using a leg and give them a long distance, okay? So difficult for them to attack you, okay? So stop kick or the cheat tech, whatever you're using, doesn't matter at using a longer weapon. When you get close, you need to able to get your hand to defend before you can able to create the attack that you need, okay? So this is very important. If you don't using a longer weapon you have, okay, like this movement here to attack in the knee, attack in the kneecap, attack in the groin, okay? Attack in the body here. All this movement here, it can be very difficult for you if they come to attack him like this. You're moving in and attack you very heavily. So using a longer weapon, to able to defend that and keep them out of the way. Okay, this is very important to understand that. So, when you see this, go full in and start practicing with it and you get an idea. Now, get your ass back to training. Mm. Right, yeah, yeah. The idea if you come in to attack me, yeah. I don't want to put down here to attack your leg. Yeah. You come in and like that, break your leg off. Yeah, you understand? Like you, yeah. No, you can't just break me. So, yeah. you're going to attack me. I'm going to attack away from you first. Yeah. Before I start, you come in and like, boom, no, you're attacking from here. No, I can't hit. Can tell you from here. Right. But the whole idea about this, just keep your way if I need to. Yeah. Like pull down here, see? Long way away. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Or maybe you attack and let you come in and go boom and like boom come in and that and attack you. Break your arm off. You understand me? So the whole idea for the same of the hand of that coming in. And you break your movement, boom, I break your leg. Yeah, so you've got options there to deal with any person. That's right. The idea of it is to give you the idea of certainly something happened. Yeah. I can't 
I cannot use my leg because it's too far away yeah. to get in line. Yeah. So I can put your hand. You understand me? So yeah, because if suddenly you punch me, then Zin can come in to attack you. Uh -huh. Or suddenly you come and punch it and boom, the trigger, boom, boom, come in to attack you from here. Yeah. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. So it's depending on the trigger really, on the range you're in. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because if I see you out there and then you come with, with me, attempt you, I pull down here, yeah. knee cut straight to that boom, I pull down there and here. Or you come in and turn you on the side, I pull down here, and then you attack him from here and I bust you off from here right away. Surely come and try to hook me from here, yeah. I can come with trick from here and I start to bust you up. So it's twins on the same. Yeah. Okay, now on this part here, it's important to understand and continue to this of uh, helping you to learn about the bully that attacking you to it will defend. Now if you're faking the movement and the body hook you or the faking the movement or movement like this, you need to understand that your hand have to be in a position like this. Okay, if you're faking learning, but you have to make sure your hand have to defending all this position of your body. If you're not able to defend them like this here, that easy come in, but don't open too wide, big enough for you to able to using the hand as you are defending because in the close range. Okay, so the important thing to understanding if your arm you got control, if the hand is here, this hand to be in control or this hand have to be in control below here while this hand still able to reaching your opponent okay your enemy if your hand too far away it's very difficult for you to reaching your opponent okay this is important as you're watching for this all the information you've got in here for training anything else you want to ask me asking me and i will be here to show you or go through some big ways to get you to learn to understand it okay another thing as well as you know i have this jacket or this sweatshirt here good for the winter and the christmas start coming up here so you get it and make sure you understand it's basic and simple and i also have some tai chi and different one i've got a link here click on the link here Okay, click on him that, that takes you to the shop and get it ready for Christmas. Okay, so now you're getting the idea of that. So when you're working to need to learn to understand, when you start to blocking, you've got to keep your hand closed. When you have to keep the hand closed, this hand have to be able to reach to able to do the movement on it. Okay, so this is important. Now when you're training with this kind of movement here, get used to your hand as your hand coming in, get used to this hand, as this hand coming in so all the time keep everything it very 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 tight for the movement coming up because if you got it defending the line you have to make sure it's defending properly otherwise it can hurt so check out this video here and get your ass back to training and make sure get the t-shirt sweatshirt for you for christmas so ah uh, no. <laughs> like that no. hook come along yeah. Same place, same thing happening. So even, the I'll, same. even I'll give you a fight. No. So what happens when you come in and go boom here, hammer that. If you hook me up the top, that's fine too. And I can break your neck here if you want. So you're just controlling the inside the line still. Because end of the day, my hand is in the very yeah. vital places. Yeah. yeah. Your hook coming in, I try to move under that. Yeah. My hand is here. Yeah. It's here. So it's not going to be rich me. Mm -hmm. If you try to reach me, then my face, my hand is here first and knock your face off. Yeah. Deep, you're right? coming deeper. The deeper you're coming in, yeah. my hand is in place. So if you jab, come along and try to hook, we come here, and then on board here, and then I can't need to, I can just break your neck from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah? The whole idea of it is we don't give you anything. Mm -hmm. Whatever you give us, we take everything. Mm -hmm. And we give you everything back after when we're inside here. Right. Yeah? That's the idea of the movement. Mm -hmm. Because you need to be sure what's happening. Yeah. I can't when you fail me and I try to ooh yeah. now boom, boom. Yeah. yeah if you try to jab that's a hook like that and then do this one boom the yeah. same thing yeah. and boom the same here yeah. and then now I come on this side mm -hmm. I'm still away jab here boom the same boom, boom the same I still away yeah. hook coming here boom the same boom, boom the same hit me here boom the same boom, boom. so you don't see me coming in and go try to I'm and then boom yeah so my just... In, in Keep the them in the, the distance yeah. and judge my body according to what's going on. No. no. I'm not going to give you nothing. Mm -hmm. But whatever you give me, I will take everything from it. Right. And then bring it in and make sure, make use of it. So the hook coming in, the best way to deal with it is this hand like this. Yeah. It's the hand position, the movement we do. Yeah. yeah? Because not just that, but the waist. Yeah. My hand is here. Hand, 
So it's not like he, my whole body will come. Yeah. Yeah. We'll deal with it. And then I say, I will for the next day. Yeah. Line good up for everything. Nice book, mate. <laughs> Have to read my book. Check my book out. Remember, sleep clean, train hard, and don't let anyone bully you again. Time, place, and a method attack. <laughs> You wonder why I get so much energy and I don't drink any coffee at all and I'm not able to do all the things that you need to do. I'm taking this called Sheila shit, okay? This is three times a day, drink them with water, very basic and simple, no coffee at all and you get so much energy and you're able to do all the things you need to do. Especially all this lockdown at the moment, you feel depressed, you feel immune system a drop, you need to have some of that. Here's the information here or below here for you to check it out and take them three times a day. You know you got enough of it. Make sure they're using the Master Wong code for check out and you get some discount. So Master Wong here, check it up and I will see you later. Now get your stupid ass back to training. Ah!